On April 8, 1974, Hank Aaron hit the 715th home run of his Major League career, breaking Babe Ruth's sacred home run record and cementing himself even further into the history books of Major League Baseball. At this point, Aaron was entering the 21st season of one of the greatest careers in baseball history, a career that was defined not just for his excellence on the field, but also his grace and his character off of it. But in order to truly understand the impact that Hank Aaron had, not just on the sport of baseball, but on the United States, we have to go farther than just his home runs. We have to take a look at the bigger picture, the man, the myth, and the legend that was Hank Aaron. This is the story of one of the greatest athletes who have ever lived. This is Sports Oddity. has to ignore the sound effects and stay a professional and pitch his game. One ball and no strikes. Aaron waiting. The outfield deep and straight away. Pause. In order to understand how we get to this point, we have to go all the way to the beginning. Aaron was born on February 5th, 1934 in Mobile, Alabama. As one of eight children growing up in the middle of the Jim Crow South during the depths of the Great Depression, Aaron and his family not only encountered constant racism on an everyday basis, but they also faced down the barrel of poverty that so many others were facing at the time. Thus, in addition to his schoolwork, young Hank would spend most of his free time trying to do odd jobs all around the neighborhood, trying to bring in whatever kind of pay he could for his family. But crucially, it was also at this time that he discovered his love for baseball. During what little free time they usually had, Aaron and his friends would constantly put together sandlot games in their neighborhood, typically using things like bottle caps for the ball and broom handles for the bat. And from a very young age, Aaron found out that he had a real talent for the game. In 1948, at just 14 years old, Aaron started playing semi-professional baseball with the Pritchett Athletics, and from then on, he would start to build his career and his name in the game of baseball. Between playing semi-pro ball around Mobile, playing high school ball with his final two years of school, and even participating in a major league tryout with the Brooklyn Dodgers, Aaron became known as quite a decent ball player, and in 1951, he would receive his first professional contract, with the Indianapolis Clowns of the Negro American League. Aaron would play just 26 games for the Clowns in the 1952 season, but during that time, he made it count, posting a batting average of 366 along with five home runs on route to the Clowns winning the Negro League World Series that year. That offseason, he turned down an offer to potentially play with Willie Mays on the New York Giants to instead sign with the Boston Braves. And after making a few adjustments to his playing style and tearing up the minor leagues, he found himself on his first major league roster in 1954 with the Braves, who by that time had moved to Milwaukee. The rest, as they say, was history. 1954 was the first of 21 seasons that Aaron would spend with the Braves organization, putting together one of the greatest careers in Major League Baseball history. But just how good was Hank Aaron? Let's take a look. On the field, Aaron was one of the most consistent, dependable, and incredible players in baseball history. A man who lit up the stat sheet in metrics both old and new. Of course, he's best known for breaking the all-time home run record. But what's lesser known is that he still holds the record today for all-time total bases and runs batted in. This is largely a testament to his nearly superhuman durability, as he played at least 145 games in every season between 1955 and 1970. That being said, his greatness on the field was about way more than just his longevity. For his career, he had a 305 batting average, 
to go along with a 374 on base percentage and 555 slugging percentage. That's good enough for an OPS plus of 155 for his career. And when you factor in his 240 career stolen bases and his defensive abilities on the field to this mix, it's no wonder that he's 5th all time in career baseball reference war and 6th in Fangraphs war. And of course, along with those numbers came plenty of accolades. Over the course of his 23 year career, he was an MVP, a World Series champion, a two time batting champ, a three time gold glover, a Hall of Famer, and thanks to there being two separate All Star games between 1959 and 1962, Aaron was named to 25, yes, 25 All Star teams. But with that being said, one can't talk about Aaron's excellence on the field without discussing the environment in which it occurred. As part of the first generation of black players to integrate Major League Baseball, Aaron faced a tremendous amount of racism throughout his career, constantly having to deal with attacks and even death threats due to his skin color. But despite all of the hate and the vitriol that was thrown his way every single day by both fans and enemies alike, Aaron somehow found a way to keep his head down and keep playing at an insane level day in and day out. Now, this isn't to say that these things didn't bother him, because of course they did. Much like his predecessor in Jackie Robinson, Aaron's stoicism and grace in the face of racism became defining characteristics of his career once he had finished playing. But also like Robinson, these characteristics were largely a result of the fact that they could not speak out against the racism that they were facing on an everyday basis out of fear of the inevitable backlash from white audiences. Backlash that we still see today when athletes try to call out racism in our society. So it's incorrect to say that he simply shrugged off the racism or that he didn't feel any anger or resentment about it like some people might claim. But he did persevere through it. And in the process, he became a legend in his own right based on the merit of his play, even with the constant threat of racial violence hanging over his head. And perhaps no moment exemplifies this better than the moment he is best known for. Heading toward the end of the 1973 season, Aaron was rapidly approaching a date with history. At age 39, he was having one of his best seasons ever as a professional baseball player, putting together a 40 home run campaign with a slugging percentage of 643 for the season. But more importantly for history's sake, those 40 home runs put him at 713 for his career, just one shy of Babe Ruth's all-time home run record. Naturally, this got baseball fans all around the country excited for the 1974 season and anxious to see the moment in which Ruth's record would finally be bested. But privately, there were many that were worried about whether or not Aaron would even live to see the 1974 season. As mentioned previously, racist threats and attacks were a regular part of Aaron's career, but they reached a whole new level while he was chasing down Ruth's record. During his chase, Aaron had to be escorted to and from the ballpark every day for his protection. The Braves had to hire assistants just to sort through the mail that he received on a daily basis. And not only were racists coming after him and his family, they were also coming after the journalists that even bothered to cover Aaron's record chase. It was an insane amount of pressure for one person to deal with. Not only was he on the verge of breaking one of baseball's most hallowed records, but he was a black man, attempting to dethrone baseball's most beloved white icon, and a ton of people were not happy about it. It was a situation that no one would want to wish on their worst enemy, and I can only imagine how much stress he and his family were under throughout that offseason. But even with the weight of the entire baseball world on his shoulders, Aaron never missed a beat. In fact, he tied the record on his very first swing of the 1974 season, and a few days later, on April 8th, in his second at-bat of the game, he gave us one more incredible moment in a career full of them, capped off by a more fitting call from the great Vin Scully. What a marvelous moment for baseball 
What a marvelous moment for Atlanta and the state of Georgia. What a marvelous moment for the country and the world. A black man is getting a standing ovation in the deep south for breaking a record of an all-time baseball idol. And it is a great moment for all of us, and particularly for Henry Aaron. In 2007, 33 years after he first broke the record, Aaron was finally overtaken by Barry Bonds as the home run king of Major League Baseball. But to limit the impact of Aaron's career to just that home run total, or even just his accomplishments on the field, would be a mistake. In many ways, he was more than just a baseball player. He was a pioneer, a legend, and a civil rights icon who inspired millions of people all around the country and all around the world, whose legacy lives on through the contributions of black athletes from across the world of sports, and their continued calls for racial justice. And though he may be gone, his words, his accomplishments, and his legacy live on, now and forever. May he rest in peace.